Besides masturbate. Besides jack my little peen, you know? <laughs> my Besides list. chafe my fucking shaft. Yeah, yeah. Give myself a goddamn Indian burn. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I can't fit two hands on my penis. <laughs> you can do an Indian burn with one hand if, if it's dry enough. I feel like you gotta you gotta if it's dry. You gotta different directions. If you do it all, I just I go a little the, the old pin. Is, I your just body is taking it one direction. <laughs> <laughs> at some point, I'm just jerking off. At that point, game's over. Game's over. You fucking ran out right of time. <laughs> Mustache is mustaching more than Dude, normal today. Shit's popping, yeah. dog. I'm trying something different. I like it. I'm trying to, Honestly. you know. Yeah, I think it's working. I don't know. Dude, it's, I think it's is, working. Hipster is, is that fuck. A, it's, is that it's like a flannel? I'm finally getting it to the length that it doesn't look bad. It looks good. I don't know Dude, how man. I'm confused with do. different because I know that I mean, this is all new. much all shorter. Gone. Okay. Okay. Usually this is damn. You gotta sell hairy. tickets to have a to have a seat I was, and take a ride on that thing. I was literally just about to say, like, it is Michaela just loving yeah. the, the jokes yeah. that people are cracking. Yeah. I uh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm yeah. sure Ugh. she's gonna really love those jokes. <clears throat> yeah. Take a ride, ladies. All right, I guess we've started. I guess yeah, sure. I, I didn't. I when I came in hot and said Jack and my little peen, I didn't realize we were recording. But here we are. Well, that's called producing, Wes. Um, yeah, Wes, I'm yeah. glad you're here. I know you were in New York for the uh, indictment of your president. You were protesting. Oh. You were yeah. boots on the ground. You had Mr. your red Memorial hat on. Day. You had yeah. your your <laughs> Mr. Memorial Day himself. You had your signs. Yeah. All the the blue haired they them's were coming for you, and you would not stand for it. You stand no for freedom, and you stand for a man's rights to do whatever it is he did. I still don't even really know. Yeah, what I wouldn't. He did. I, I'm not hearing it from any of the libs out there. Let me tell you that. Uh, yeah. Hey, libs. Where are my uh, repubs the at? Podcast for you. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get some magas in the comments? <laughs> Don't do that. Wow. Man, to be honest, I think about this every day. I do think the easiest way to become famous and gain a following is just right wing drifter. Just right wing fucking Trump guy. Like it seems like shooting fish in a barrel. <sighs> but at what cost? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be fun. It would just surely be for the money. Um, and it would be very depressing if I was failed and did not make a lot of money because then you're kind of painted in a corner. You don't really have you've lost you all really self respect. A, yeah, you don't have a move. You don't have a move out unless yeah. But hey, whatever's and, gonna really make you happy. Dude, if you just want to say that you love Trump, just say that. Yeah, if you, you just want to, yeah, stop, stop beating around the bush and just get to it. I will say this: he's the funniest president we've ever had. It's he, not even close. He not was funny. Not even close. Not the even guys, close. The guy's got comedic timing out of this <laughs> fucking world. It's unreal. That that video is recirculating, and I keep watching it where he's like, Puerto Rico. <laughs> like, he's like, Puerto Rico. <laughs> he's like saying everything else so normal, and then he gets to Puerto Rico, and he's like, Puerto Rico. Oh, um, I mean, we the- should... We should, and he would probably be down for this. Just set up some fake debates for him to take part in. Not, we don't want him to be president, but we need to get some people for him to debate on television. You know or, what? Just you know, get that man a TikTok. Just get him on TikTok. 
He needs Boy. a podcast. The Donald Trump podcast? Are you kidding me? I mean, yeah. why, why is he even trying to be president? Why do you want to be fucking yeah, president, fuck it. You've bro? You've already you done got it. it. You did it. Like, Yeah, you write your books, just, get your pod. Fuck it. Like, oh. You're not getting indicted if you're not the president. You just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you got that feather in the cap. That's the... It's a gift and the curse of a an ego like Donnie T. Yeah. Donnie T. D- yeah. I actually don't know why he's being arrested. Do you guys know? No I idea. Not no idea. I thought. Those. I, I think, well, um, I know that he paid off Stormy Daniels. I thought yeah. that had to do something. I, I thought I thought it was I thought he used like campaign donated money for like personal things or something. I don't know at all. That could be completely Stormy? wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, I don't know. I do think it was a campaign something to pay off stormy for hush money which is a no-go i guess i don't know if he's Why like not? gonna go to jail i guess not i don't know no, I have no he clue. won't go to jail i was a little upset i was hoping for a little more theatrics from the uh indictment i was hoping for some handcuffs you mm. know get a yeah, well, sick, they didn't sick vid they he didn't kind of the drove door around. for him Man, he rolls deep and i mean obviously he's oh the yeah president, but of course man, squad of course. a lot of guys a lot of people. You think Sometimes. he's getting into the club with a with that pack of sausage? I don't think so. Rolling yeah. up twelve dudes, twelve dudes to yeah. the club. Yeah, the ratio's all fucked up, Donnie. You can't have. The- well, no one else gets to come in. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah, know, it's just him and all the true. gals. Nice. He's got his That's own true. bouncers. Wait outside. But a plus for Wes, a little silver lining. The Tate Bros got out of jail, so you know some good yeah. yeah. take. We're back, baby. The Tate Bros. Free the Tate Bros. I didn't know they were one both of my... in jail. I kind of didn't, I didn't know they were both there. I didn't know there was another one at all. I just knew there was one. Yeah, yeah. when they fucking in, when they indict my king, they just they release my prince. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. The Tates are out. You can't keep us down for long, you boys. Cannot keep us down. You cannot contain us at yeah. all. Um, you guys know who Aiden Ross is? <sighs> Vaguely heard of the name. I, I wouldn't be able he, to tell you what he's so, all about. Uh, Cliff notes he is like one of the biggest Twitch streamers. He's like a giant Twitch streamer, and he is like recently become he's a giant. Uh, no, he's actually a very small guy. His following oh. is giant. He's uh okay. big on the platform, lots of followers. He uh, he kind of recently is like got uh, Andrew Tated and like believes everything he says. That's not really the important part. The important part is, and the funny part is, that he was on his stream and he was doing like a, I think it was like a make me laugh challenge. So he was telling people to send him in videos and he would watch them on the stream and he would see if they would make him laugh. And one of the videos was his sister's OnlyFans getting fucked. And it was a funny watch to see his reaction when he pulled up that video. And it was he, the videos were playing on the stream also. I didn't see the clip I saw oh. was blurred out. Um, ah, hilarious. Tough... Did, he, did he laugh? Uh, no, he did like the classic, like scrambling around, like shit, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, I, I do would think. Die. God, that is, that is a good That's joke. That's brutal. Though. That is a sick prank. That is a sick prank. Um, Add kudos to the person that did that. Yeah, I don't have any siblings. I don't know how I would react to that. I'd imagine it's just uh, got to be poorly. Um, I I would not react well to that. And I can't um, even imagine it being the other way of like, Wes, you've got a sister. I feel like yeah. it'd be even worse for a brother to see the sister because it's... It's more vulnerable, theoretically. Yeah. Um, I mean, he knows. He knows what's going yeah. on at OnlyFans. But, but yeah, it yeah like... it's a different thing to know. <laughs> He's not see. watching. Yeah, I imagine there's a lot of people yeah. that. Yeah, it's a. Uh, that's a killer bit. It's a killer. That's bit. that's that's brutal. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta watch that. What was this? What was this cat's name? Uh, Aiden Ross. A D I N okay. Ross. Okay. Yeah. Oh, My, tough, tough uh, look, Aiden. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hope he didn't else? get banned on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he did. I mean, can't show people getting fucked. I imagine that's a no-no over at Twitch. That's wild that he was just blindly opening videos. That I can't is. believe. You'd think there'd be like a moderator that's like yes. checking all of like, them before yes. he watches them. They probably Especially should someone... have that. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, they all do have them like in the chat to make sure people aren't like saying racial slurs and shit. So I don't. Whatever. I don't know. That one slipped through the cracks for old A. Ross. No pun. It wouldn't surprise me if the moderators were like, <laughs> "Whoops, I I might have I, I missed one." The call's coming from inside the building, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plot twist: He turned it in. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Oh shit, what is this, guys? This is so fucked. This is crazy." Um, Ooh, conspiracy theory: He gets a piece of all her OnlyFans dollars. Ooh, he's like the and producer, then, oh, stirring up some some idiots like us are talking about it on podcasts. Her <laughs> OnlyFans is probably going through the roof. I'm curious, you know. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. Know, I mean, I'll check it out. I mean, what you got I'll, going on? I'll give it a goo. I'll, I'll set a reminder on my phone to cancel it after a month. But you know, yeah, fucking... totally, we'll do that. <laughs> I'll remember. Do you guys have OnlyFans? I no. do. Not. I do not. No, I don't. Mm. I yeah, I don't really. I don't, oh, that's a, I'm so happy versus, that okay. th- that reminded me of this. So my uh, algorithm on TikTok is mm. a wreck. It's a wreck. It's bad. I got these videos of this girl like sexually whispering into the phone and like giving a little smooch Mm. face. It's like, it is appalling. It is. Wes is like, obviously I liked the video and watched the rest. Obviously there's a reason they're showing up. I watched every video that she has. No reason they're showing up, but it is absolutely disgusting. It's like weird sexual ASMR, like whispering. And it is it's it's off putting. Uh, she has a ton oh. of videos. I'll, let me see if I can find her. She's saying um, sexy stuff, or she's just <clears throat> saying normal stuff um, in a sexy voice. People will comment and be like, uh, "Please tell me how good I'm doing," and she'll be like, "You're oh. doing so great." You're oh man, it is tough to watch. Uh, yeah, that's bad. That's so awful. She's like, uh, and and she's like doing like a double like keep going like people are jacking it to this i'm sure she's like keep going you're doing great you're almost almost there dude you're asking the same questions that i'm asking i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna i don't know how i'm gonna find her either but did you like the video no i didn't like no i never liked any videos i'll just do i'll do it did i watch every video maybe let me just do a quick flip through the. If yeah, I just keep scrolling. I'm sure she'll. I'm sure I'm she'll, sure pop, she'll up. pop up. Or just really like fast. Search a hashtag that says you know sexy. Or she'll she'll do videos of her just like sitting there, but she has like her feet in the background. For the oh. for the feet boys. It's the piggies. Yeah, the man, dogs. You are can out. be a millionaire off whispering. In today's oh, day and age, if you're hot enough, what a sweet there was a, gig! I was watching a couple of, and I was like, for a second, I was like, "Is this hot?" Is That's she the weird hot? Thing about ASMR. It's yeah. Like, oh yeah, she's she's very attractive. It makes oh. you feel like such a deep, visceral feeling. You're like, yeah, I hate this, but it's also like it's it's touching me in a place that. But is, I also kind of. I know. It's like yeah. it's, it's almost like getting tickled. Thing. You're like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I found feel. her. Yeah, so shoot, shoot it my way. I'll shoot it my way. I'll uh, drop it in the chat. So we know oh, what yeah. Wes has been up to. Yeah, I Indian found my hobby. We'll get into ASMR. hobbies. Like, where's, the, where's the chat at? <laughs> at pa. Um, yeah, we're going to look for some hobbies for the three of us. We've been talking lately. We've, been a, we've hit a bit of a rut. Um, oh, it's the... It's the um... If you search it, it's one with like fifty four thousand. She has like multiple. She has like a hundred fucking accounts. What a Jesus. what an absolute slut. Respectfully, hey, hey, I, um, I respect the grind. So, fifty four thousand. Yeah, so God. respectfully. Hmm. Huh. It's it's yeah. uh it's certainly a, hey, a genre gotta, of TikTok. You got to be so, out here hustling, dude. Get on over Man. to Goog. The other check, thing is, get like, on over to the uh, the YouTube um, and check this out. Yeah. The thing is, like, 54,000 followers is like, I mean, what, are you really getting that much off of 54,000 TikTok followers? I guess you oh, see, the first one, the first one is yeah. where she's got the dogs out, the feedies. She didn't even do anything, I'm sure, in those. You said she was hot, she's like kind of pretty. She's not ugly, 
She's not ugly. See, I don't think turn, she, she, click on this video that like this or this comment. What does it say? What the fuck? Why can't we what? hear it? You can't hear it? No. Damn. This is going terribly. God damn it. God damn it. Motherfucking. Hey, everyone just use your imagination. Or should I yeah, hit you all fucking... with some ASMR right now? Yeah, if you, if you could. <laughs> You're oh, here so we go. tired. And you've worked so hard. And your body is so depleted and exhausted. But I just want you to keep mm. going if you can. I know you've got it in you. I'm so proud of so you. So she's not whispering. Just keep going. You're doing such a good no, job. Not so much in this one. That's it. Good boy. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Oh yeah, the good boy. <laughs> it's good boy. It's uh, it's a little motherly, which is what. Uh, the oh, weird she has an things. accent too. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Mm, yeah, know. the accent helps. I think there's I get it. some where she whispers. Yeah, it's there's. I mean, there's okay. just countless of them. Look at all these what's, videos. What's, what's Anyways, we can move on. Yeah. Okay. What on all earth? Right. Um, not the not the best content. Uh, thanks for fucking my algorithm uh, up now, Wes. Gonna get a lot of coach. Go drop her a follow. Go drop her a follow. Yeah, come on the podcast and whisper the whole time. Call me baby boy. Oh, man. Yeah, but there was like there was whatever one showed up. I was like, wait a minute, is this is this good? And it was not. It's uncomfortable a lot. It's bad, you know. But anyways, a, yeah, it made me think of that. So thanks for for bringing that up. Do you guys not? I kind of get pissed off when people whisper. I don't know if I have like autism or something. I don't like when people fucking whisper. It bothers me. I people whisper a lot in movies, and it pisses me off. When yeah. anyone takes the bass out of their voice, I don't like it. I don't know why. And I, don't I feel like, like it. on The Bachelor this season, we saw a lot of whispering when people were like mm. trying not to cry, and it was so annoying to me. I'm like, why are you whispering? Yeah. Bitch, yeah. talking that's a, normal. Say it with a, your fucking a, chest. That's a good move you when you're trying not to sob. Just Is keep it? your voice down. I mean, it's annoying, but it helps, I think, in my head. <laughs> Dude, they don't want to embarrass themselves and cry on television. Okay. Fine. Let them cry. Sorry you're cry. so comfortable with your emotions. Not everyone's so comfortable with crying in front of the entire world. It yeah, dude. I, like, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I deep down hate myself and uh, don't want to ever feel anything and just shove it as far down yeah. into the deepest annals of my soul that I can possibly find. Mm. Yeah, bury it. Yeah. Do not express anything to me ever. Um, I don't know if Bobby saw anything about this. It did it did go a little national. I know Wes probably We gotta we, this, we gotta the, have her watch it. The girls basketball thing? Is that what you thought uh -huh. I was talking about? Yep. Oh, you know any, I anything saw about it. this? Okay. Yeah, the you, you saw it, you know the context of it. Um mm -hmm. uh, well, so, I mean, okay. to say I know the context of it, can I give you the breakdown of what I think? Because I didn't actually like read a whole lot about it, but I just saw a few things. I would love um, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You sure. Yeah. Okay. So there was this team, uh, Caitlin, I think her name is. They were like, the underdogs, I believe. She is consecutively scoring like, I don't know, 40 points a game or something. Doing very well. Um this other girl from the other team was talking trash to her. So she was like, you know what? You're down 15 points. Like, don't come at me with all that. Caitlin said this. Then the girl on LSU's team, I think, did it back in maybe a different game. And then all of a sudden it's classless. Okay, filling a few gaps pretty, here. So pretty, pretty good, good, though. Pretty much got it. Caitlin Clark, Iowa. She's like the best girls basketball player in like forever. Ever, yeah. She's she got me to. I watched two women's games in the same weekend. Nice. Due to her, and for the most part, 
her thing also is though she talks a ton of shit in all her games. She is very arrogant, very cocky, very boisterous, which is fine. I do not care. She talks a lot of shit. Um, but yeah, she's the like best you player said, always too. She's the she best like player backs always. Backs it up. Uh, they made it to the championship game. They played LSU. Um, <clears throat> they got beat kind of handily, and this girl talked shit back to her. Um, the thing about it that is kind of weird is that like the game is completely over. The game is like the buzzer sounded. They'd won the championship, and she is like chasing her down. This LSU girl is like chasing was, this Caitlin girl down to like get in her face and like celebrate in her oh. face, which is like she a weird like, context to it. And she did it, and then <clears throat> Caitlin, the girl, like turned away from her to like walk past her to fucking go to the bench, and she like cha- like followed her around, cut her off, like, kind of. Yeah, it was like tr- it was. Bizarre. Yeah, that that's that's a little obnoxious. <laughs> it was really right? weird. Yeah, but my whole thing is like this it's it's nothing. It's it's not like a news cycle worthy thing. Oh, it's no. like you're kind of a dick. That's about that's it. That's the end of it. But then of course everyone has to have a fucking take on it. They're women. One of the women is black. That has to be a thing. Um and so, like not to it was the other thing is like, I do understand when Dave Portnoy is like to a 19 year old college, black college girl, like you're a classless piece of shit. That's like, don't it's do that aggressive. either. Aggressive. That's aggressive. That, that, don't that. say that. And then he's like, well, it's not racist. So he didn't call her a blah, blah, blah. It's like, but the context of like a guy with a bazillion followers and a bunch of fucking people who for sure are going to see that tweet and then tweet shit and talk shit to her. When it's like, doesn't matter. It's like nothing, and yeah. he could take- just th- shut the fuck up and not be a forty-five-year-old man that's stuck in. I'm gonna tweeting take shit at college girls. The other approach. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it from the other point of view of like, so many more people are talking about women's basketball and this whole situation more than anyone ever talks about women's basketball. So it's like. Yes, he kind of fell on that sword, but is it actually kind of a good thing to give a little bit more exposure, some credit where it's due? But it's it all bad, though. You know what I mean? I mean, it I definitely guess there are added to it. it. It definitely added to it. But yeah, it's probably mostly bad. But they already did that. I mean, it was the most it was the most watched college event in ESPN Plus history. Boys wow. or girls? Really? Wow. Yes. Why? Why? Because the two player, I mean, Caitlin Clark is the best women's player we've maybe ever seen, and they just yeah, beat the yeah. undefeated defending champs, and it was just like a huge storyline. It was a, like I watched it like series for just to watch the game. Nice, mm-hmm. that's good. Yeah, I mean, I was, I think having more context definitely paints a it different was, picture. So the Louisville game was the Final Four game that you talked about, and. The girl that did it in the final game after they beat them was mad, not about because she did like the hand can't see me thing to another player, like another white player. And no one was upset about that. That was fine. But she the girl was mad. She wasn't mad about that. She was mad about she didn't guard the one girl on the perimeter. She like dismissed her and like wouldn't guard her. Do you remember seeing that video, Mm -mm. Brody? I didn't see so that. she would just leave like um, like Russ in the NBA. Just they, they, she just stood in the paint and doubled someone else and like did a like dismissive like hand gesture to her, mm. like go ahead, shoot it. And she said that was disrespectful. And I was standing up for that girl. Um, that sure. was well, that was her. That was her beef. So she did her move back to her. She got in her face and. Hmm. Yeah, I think gamesmanship. I'm all for talking shit. I'm all for like dancing really on people's weird. graves. There's for just sure. A, I think if she could have it back, she would have done it during the game and not once the game was over. Like once yeah, the game's over, it's game. like do it's it after the weird. it was. It also it was like, so it corny. Also, it, yeah, it makes you. It's that's the biggest thing. It's like not that it's classless or whatever. Like you look fucking lame as shit. Like it's you so won. premeditated. You so are the corny. champ. Like I get it if you want to like flash one to her and then like go celebrate, but she like chased her down for so so long. It was See, so corny. I- I think what's weird too is like in that moment, instead of being so excited that you won and like embracing that feeling, you're like just thinking about like 
your haters or like was, getting revenge, which it's like you should be so happy at that point. Like it, that it's over. Yeah, it's over. You I won. think talking a little shit maybe after after the fact would be kind of funny, but like right after chase her down, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm not saying it's completely wrong because think can you pull she's up the college, video? She's a college girl. And I'm going back in time, I don't know, 10 years ago for me, and thinking of like, not 10, almost 10, and thinking, I have anger issues, (laughs) and would I have done this? And I'm not so sure that I wouldn't have done this. Yeah, maybe. So... We can't it discredit just... the fact that her brain's not even fully developed yet. True. So... And, she's, like... and she's also, she was their best player too. And also an all American, like yeah. very, very good. It was just so, I don't know. It just didn't sit right. It seemed hey, so I get that. premeditated and lame. Do it, it during lame. the game. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, but like, that's the thing is like, it's like, that's it. Kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, over. I don't get Discussion I don't over. Like fucking why why are we why are we talking about this at all you brought it I up guess we're, we're, yeah no <laughs> not us in this moment but just as I'm a, just kidding as a collective i can't find a fucking <laughs> it is yeah i was i was surprised i was surprised not find a clip of this it was um really um I maybe I, find one. what's her name but angel reese right I angel reese yeah. name. it was they averaged 12.9 million viewers and they peaked at like higher than that, fourteen something on a Sunday at like three o'clock. It was like crazy numbers. Wow. I'm pretty sure I saw. I'm, I think it was it was real or right on ES. It was ESPN Plus. It wasn't like the full network, but it was the highest viewed college event that they ever they have oh, ever wow. played. Which is go off pretty clean. Fucking, pretty fucking impressive. Yeah. It's all like explains gesture. It's no none of it is like the fucking. Hey, they're sweeping the internet thing. of it. Whatever, you can look it up, or maybe you can't. Maybe you'll never be able to see it ever again. Um, yeah. Once we forget the context of it, that's a fucking sick clip of her like interface doing this. Though it looks pretty badass from the right angle. But then if you zoom out and you see the lead up, it looks a little yeah. less badass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Interesting. I love a little beef. I love a little controversy in sports. Um, and at the same time, yeah. people get fucking weird and they take it a little far and they kind of forget I, that it is people playing a child. I definitely don't feel bad for Caitlin, Caitlin Clark whatsoever. She no. backs up every single thing that, that, she, um, that she talks, but she talks a lot. Yeah. She yeah. talks a gang of shit and mm-hmm. she lost and she gave it back to her. What are you gonna do? Fucking don't lose. Yeah, don't lose. Don't be. Don't a loser. lose, loser. No, it was a good game. Fun times. Um, yeah, we can move on. Brody, you find a hobby. Hold on, I had a question. Brody was out of town this weekend, and I want to hear about it. Um, he had a bachelor. What, what, what were you doing? Ba- <laughs> bachelor party with uh, um, you know, part time co host Jacob Keekers bachelor party. Um, the guy from the wrestling podcast. If any of the wrestling people are still here, you know, checking out what else we got. What's up? How's it going? Uh, drop here, what you we... thought about WrestleMania in the comments. Maybe we can talk Hello. quick WrestleMania for a minute or two here. Bobby Cody Rhodes out, got but... fucked. Yeah, I want justice. He's <laughs> taking the reins. It's over. He's <laughs> driving into the fucking ground. Um, anyway, it was like... It was as standard fair bachelor party as you get. It was a bunch of dudes in a house drinking all fucking day. There was not a lot of planning. There was not a lot of events or um, stuff to do. I don't know why we went to Cincinnati, really. We went to the same bar both days and just got drunk. Um it was fun in the sense of just hanging out with your boys you don't see and getting drunk is fun. But, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't very eventful. No one got hurt. No one got arrested. Nothing too terribly. Well, I am glad no one got hurt or arrested. 
you know, I would have liked I just, something to talk about in this segment of the show, but you know, as long as it wasn't me. I just think guys never plan anything. Like I was no. telling, I was telling Tommy, I'm like, you guys didn't have anything planned. I was like, you didn't ask if someone needed help to find something or do what or whatever. And he's like, no, no, we just, we just chilled. I'm like, okay. I, well, I, I, I I'll be honest. I would have liked to have one thing to do like any, like, I don't know, like sitting at a bar is fun, but I don't need to drive five hours to sit at a bar. Yeah. My point. The same bar. Go to that. The same bar both days too, which is a little. And also a version of a bar that's like down the street from you basically. Right. A tin roof, which I've, I've Um, been to a few been. And the other thing I was telling Wes, this, you just come to realize the older you get in the more places you go, that all these Midwestern cities that are around this size are just the exact same place. There's just no difference. It's there's a tin roof. Outside of that, you look up like what to do here. It says, go to a museum, go to the park, go to whatever their sports team's game is. That's about it. Um, yeah. Maybe there's some it was good cool. restaurants. I was talking to Parker a bit. He said it was like basically in like an area that would have been like Ballpark Village for the Reds yeah. like in the same. It was mm-hmm. like that area. And they had one of the days they had a game, but it was like miserable, the weather, right? Yeah. It was. Not miserable, we were, but like to watch a game, it would have been like it shitty. was like forty degrees and raining. Would yeah, not have been like, very fun to watch two teams I don't care about that both stink. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was, it was good yeah, that time, was the thing. I suppose like none of us really had a like any ties for the most part to Lexington when we went there. But we like had the we had the game uh, to go the to and the whiskey we had trail the whiskey thing. tour. We had the tour, we had the game, we had some tent pole events set up. I, I was that, just like, I was a little think, nervous going into that that it would just kind of be like, I don't know, just hang out, figure it out. Yeah, but, I know. I was too. That's I was like asking Paul when he was planning Tommy's bachelor party. God. I'm like, do you have anything planned? Like, what's what you doing? But yeah, I think. Okay, here's my hot take, women. For bachelorette parties in particular, like it's typically planned out. Like, say, for instance, like I planned a bachelorette party last year. I had an itinerary and I gave everyone uh, a breakdown of what they should kind of pack and all of that. And once we got there, it's not like I was like, hey, guys, it's almost two o'clock. We need to go here, here and here. It was more so like, hey, here are things that we know we can do. If we're living in the moment, and we don't feel like doing that. That's fine. But there was something set up. And I think that like, especially when you go on trips with women and everything, too, if there's someone that does that, that heavy lifting and planning, you always have a better time. You can Agreed. deny it all you want, but. It's the truth. Yeah, you have to find that balance where it's loose, but there is yeah. stuff to do. It's, it's not just, just like, what should we do? I don't know. Go to the same bar again. That I, yeah. I, if Jake's with this, I don't want to like talk shit on the whole thing. And not that he planned it or anything, I guess. If, if the best man is watching this, it was it was fine. It was fun. It was good. But Yeah, Parker said it was a lot of fun. Eh? Yeah, I had fun. I also would have liked to have gone and done something. Like... The thing about it was, I was like, Cincinnati, what's that all about? I have no idea what Cincinnati's all about. I was there for th- four days. Couldn't tell you anything about Cincinnati. No dis- distinct vibe. Dude, how was, how was Great American, dude? I uh, saw the outside of it. Looked looked like a baseball field. Looked pretty good. Yeah. Well, yeah. what I'm hearing is that whenever your co-hosts plan your bachelor party, we will just have it jammed packed full of fun stuff for you. Yeah. I, yeah, somewhere, I had, south of, somewhere, uh, somewhere south of itinerary. Yeah, we'll have some, maybe not that far, but some some things to do. Yeah. I I also hesitate that I, I do forget that you have to think, like, does everyone want to pay however much money it's going to be if right. you want to do a bunch of really That's fun true. shit? And then it's hard and, because you don't want to split the group, you know? Yeah. 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 So that's a tough battle. Again, if you have some sort of itinerary thing, though, and when you're workshopping that, what you could just do is throw in the group chat, say, hey, I found this brewery tour. 
It's going to be 30 bucks a pop. We all good with that before I book it? Here, yeah. Here's a question for batch or bachelorette parties. How do you feel about splitting up the group? Does that get you... If it's yours, it's are, you, are you are you but her that like half the people are off doing something else? You want to keep the group together? How are you feeling? I think about as that? long as everyone's having fun, I'm good. As long as as long as like I don't not see you the entire like if we're there four days, I don't see you at all. Like as long as you know, as long as everyone's having fun. Like my ideal bachelor party, and maybe it's pie in the sky is to go to Vegas, which I think would be great because there could be like. Pool people go be in the pool. Gambling people can go gamble. We're all kind of in the same area. It's all like those a little vacation. Are, all those things are well. Gambling is not free, but you know you don't have to. You don't have to pay a, a fee. You know that's that's your choice. Um, however little yeah. or much, and then you know there's plenty of night lights, nightlife stuff to do after. Like I think yeah, that is. Meet up, I think do whatever you a, want. Hot take. The day. Hot take. Okay. There's a there's a reason a lot of people go to Vegas for their bachelor party. True. Yeah. Yeah. And I it's think not because of the strippers. No. The would what? never. Would exactly. never. Exactly. Exactly. Disgusting. Um, disgusting. Yeah. I man, Vegas is so fun, but I would be terrified to go there with just a group of girls for a bachelorette party. I don't know if I would do that. But bachelor party, definitely get it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. A lot of a uh, lot of yeah lions fucking prowling, mm. praying, fucking. Remember that Not guy great. pulling that weird Edward yeah. Cullen move on me? I'm gonna break your only one. neck. That uh, was give me that, give me that neck, girl. You Jeez. guys, I wish that I could show you like how his body was in that moment too, and he was kind of like hunched over me and was like i'm gonna bite your neck he's yeah, the guy that comments on whisper girls tiktoks and asks for him to call him tell me tell me how good i've been doing tell me about the blood you're losing after i've been biting your neck girl <laughs> dark lord gustav you're doing so well <laughs> you're sucking so much blood that kind of goes hard going you will never die. You are the Lord of you darkness. You are eternal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Love it. But but that would be cool. Vegas would be cool. Wes, yeah, did, you, did you do anything fun and exciting this past weekend? Relax. No. Uh, I am looking. I'm, I'm considering getting a hobby um, we're going to get to that i need something to do i need something to occupy my time it used to be gaming i used to game a lot and i'm considering bringing that back in but i'm the type of person that will start doing that and then i look up and it's sunday at like 6 30 like whoopsies uh -huh. that was that was the whole weekend and yeah that's now gone I'm in I'm in the same boat i am still gaming and i'm trying to take measures to limit myself i set timers for myself and then i like be like okay i'm gonna do this for an hour two hours and then i'm gonna stop because the bastards that make video games now and i guess kind of always have they're very good at making it in a way that there's never really a good stopping point you could just keep going and going yeah. forever and ever and there's never really a good time to just set it down right especially the type of games me and west play which are like sports card collecting games you can always play like another game there's always something to do sell your shit you know buy some new shit just scroll around mindlessly you know there's not like levels yeah. there's not like times when you're you're done no it's not like yeah you've beaten this you can save and quit it's basically what tommy plays just a yeah just yeah another version of that yeah just different but sports I have lots of really good ideas for hobbies. I feel like I'm good at thinking them for other people, but I'm not good at thinking of them for myself. So this should be a nice little exercise for us. Um, Wes, to start off, do you have any hobbies that interest you? Was there anything on your mind that was like, maybe, maybe this will be, my you know, maybe I've always had a weird, guys. I would love, so this is not going to happen. And I realize that I think the drums are so cool. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to get a fucking drum set and, and let someone teabag it. I'm not going to do that. I was going to about to say, I'm going to put my nutsack. If you're no. practicing drums in an apartment with neighbors, jail. 
Yeah. yeah, no, prison. prison. I mean, I don't have room yeah. for that, first of all. Second of all, you'd have to rent some studio time. Yeah, so I think those are so cool. So maybe another instrument, maybe the piano. Acoustic guitar? I'm, I mean, acoustic uh, guitar I mean, is guitar. like. But like, uh, I would that's, prefer that's piano. the easiest. Sure. Yeah. Your roommate could probably, he's got a little keyboard, doesn't he? You could probably. Yeah, but that's like it, it, a little get, like. Uh, he doesn't have, it's it not this. a full. Uh, it's for no, making beats. The, it's not for playing. Yeah, I'm thinking of like piano. the little little pad thing that he has. I don't know what that's um, called. He's listening to this. He's being like, "You're a fucking idiot, nerd." Yeah, um, what is that called? He has it does uh, the. It's uh, like a drum machine, basically. Yes, yes, yeah. But, drum pad. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can that's, learn to play piano. You can get like a electric keyboard pretty cheap. Yeah, you can get it for like a couple hundred bucks. A decent one. I imagine it's. I mean, fucking little tiny babies learn how to play the piano. You can probably figure it out. I so my sister had like uh, a shitty version, like a smaller version of the keyboard, not like the full long keys. I don't know how many keys it is, like eighty. It was like half of that. But and I messed around with it for a little while, like just did YouTube shit and like taught myself, and that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, and I think that's the leader in the clubhouse is learning learning the piano. I've every year I'm like, oh, I'll read more. That'll be a good hobby fucking hate reading reading's dumb we've talked about this brody i can't do it just i hate it i hate it so much right types of books if i'm being honest i i that's the fucking shitty thing is like i don't mind doing it when i'm doing it but i'm not doing it i, I never want to it start up. doing it. i can't pick that's that's a good way to put it when i'm reading it's pretty enjoyable especially if it's a decent book i can't pick it up I can't I'm the same. I don't know what that is. Up. Like my brain, my brain is it, it is it's like healthy food almost. It's like healthy food doesn't taste that bad. I never want to fucking eat it though. I always want to yeah. eat I want to play video games and watch fucking TikTok. I want to eat a goddamn cheeseburger with macaroni and cheese on top of it. Like I understand it like, makes ever, me feel bad, but it's like Have you ever read Erotica? Yeah, yeah it's some I'll, sexy stuff. It's some smut. That's a good you know what? Whisper Girl should, got me all fired up. I might read some smut. <laughs> we should do a little book club with some erotica. I'm that telling you, funny. I'm not even kidding. Like, there's nothing better than a book that's just like, man, Porn. I could fucking. just fuck anything right now. Yeah, are you just fired up after that? You just raring to go? Yeah. Like, one yeah. time... <laughs> like, one time it was after when we went out of town uh, for... A wedding, Tommy's like, you gotta chill with these books. I'm tired. I'm I'm just a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, empty. There's nothing left. Yeah, yeah. The tank is empty. And so I'm just Damn. saying it's it's a wild thing. It really so you're is. Just, you're just reading smut and just throwing it around then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you've damn. gotta like and if you guys can't read that shit in public. We'll be bricked up in public at yeah. the fucking oh, library. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> well, don't be reading at the library. Take the book home. Well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I like to sit out in the park and read a book. I'll be fucking just, just boned up. up. Yeah. yeah, you would. Won't be able to go to, to the park jeans. anymore. Be sitting a little jeans. too close to the swing set. Rock That's hard, right. read my fairy porn <laughs> I'll be book. Like, <laughs> there would be like, oh god, the guy with the big hoodies here again. You like have to wear a hoodie that like goes past your waist. Brody, no way I'll be able to have this mustache if I do that. I'll no be shot. on a list immediately. Brody's fucking hanging out in the slides again with his sweatpants. Damn <laughs> creep. <laughs> All right, yeah. so reading only if it's sexy. That's on only the, if it's porn. Yeah. Porn yeah. piano check. Piano. Piano, um, piano would be fun. Yeah, it's a big commitment. It's hard. It's fucking really hard. <laughs> but it's, it's like, it's hard to be a master, but you don't have to. That's the other thing with hobbies that I struggle with. It's like, I got to be the fucking best at this. If I'm not a fucking master, what's even the fucking point? Where it's like, you can just noodle around, have fucking fun, and like learn yeah, kind of some as, basic shit. There's a. There's a there's a barrier to where f fun starts to happen, and I sure. like flirt. I like flirted with that when I was like goofing around on like free YouTube videos. It's I was around that area to where it started getting kind of fun, where I could play like thirds yeah. of songs and stuff, you know, like portions of songs. Um, and I also one negative, I am not able to sing. I can like literally sing, but it sounds bad. 
So not being able to sing with the piano, you know, like at least yeah. a little where it sounds okay. That's also kind of a negative. That's kind of a bummer. That is a bummer. Ooh, I... learn how to sing. Teach uh, there you go. Uh, it's teach possible. My... How to sing. Teaching. Yeah, I found, or... There was a guy on TikTok that does that. He teaches people how to sing. Gives them like Tristan? singing lessons. There's like. Tristan. Maybe? He's like, weird, hi, weird... Tristan. Tris fans. Black mm, hair. Long hair, mustache. Yeah, yeah. Really white teeth. I don't get that. So I can just sing. I just don't do it. I mean, right. you're not saying? fucking Beyonce, but there's so techniques like, to sound. Yeah, better. singing is is a learned skill. Some people have a naturally better singing voice, but it's it's like a skill. It's anyone can learn how to sing. Yeah, hmm. you're not going to kind be of like incredible, but you could learn how to access. Kind of like kind of like developing like a um like an impression of someone. You just kind of like yeah, tr- learn simple. and train your your voice and yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to do that probably, but I think the piano's. Maybe I cool. have I have some ideas. Yeah, let's hear it. I'd love to. Hear I it. would really encourage you to find some sort of adult league to join, either a softball league, kickball league, volleyball, something. <sighs> I'm telling you, it is so fun to like have something one day of the week that you go and you like hang out with people that you don't hang out with very often, but it's just like switches the crowd up a bit. So I'm glad you said that because I was, uh, I'm obviously an absolute specimen and an athlete just looking at me. So I was invited by a few people at my work to play uh, sand volleyball this summer. So I'm going to do that. Ah, it's so it's honestly, I am not that great at, at sand volleyball but i enjoy going so much and like it breaks up the week a little bit it's just it's fun it's the perfect casual sport to play too like i've played in a lot of basketball leagues and it's just so hit or miss with it's like this is fucking cutthroat we are out for blood or it's like it is never the good balance it's either we're out for blood or or it's like we're beating the shit out of these other teams and like yeah nobody cares it's like impossible to find a balance and, and if I was better at basketball, I would probably enjoy the super competitive yeah. version. But like, I want to score a lot, you know. But yeah, I have a funny story just to derail us a little bit because I was Please. playing volleyball last night. So I, you know, I say I'm like the personality hire from our our volleyball team. Like, I am a warm body on the court. Am I our star player? No. Am I where you know the ball is going to be targeted every single fucking time because I'm the weakest link? Yes. And I've just learned to know that. So last night, I'm in the front row and the serve is coming to us. And I like should have either moved up so someone could be closer to behind me or moved back a hair so I could have like passed it. I decide to go with one of these numbers, like hands are not quite at a set. They're, they're like at my shoulders. Okay. This ball is coming at me faster than I expected. It hits, (laughs) it hits me so hard in the chest that it's like, (laughs) it is, it is an audible, like that would have been a satisfying thud. thud. I was, I was wearing that Joe Burrow t-shirt. And so it, it's like completely screen printed too. So I feel like the plastic to plastic, like <laughs> honestly, we almost have to take a time out because we were all laughing so hard, like tears were running down because I just turned around. I'm like, I I have no fucking clue what just happened. I don't know. There. I don't know what you happened. The logo off your shirt. God oh, damn. Oh my That's god. Funny. The sound was unreal. It sounded so like theatrical um but i like kept thinking about it afterwards and just like kept laughing and i'm like man this is why i do it the serotonin it brings me from getting and i've gotten hit hit in the face too which is not as funny well you are the ceo of vibes though you, you might not be the best yeah. player but the locker room gal locker room I... gal And I'm bringing the morale on that court. I'm like, you know what? Great serves. Great serves, Cody. Good dig, babe. Good dig. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I so I'm going to do that this summer with some people I don't know a ton. I just work in office with. See, I I think that's great, honestly, because I play volleyball with like, I mean, two of the people we hang out with regularly. The other people we don't hang out with very often, the kind of people that rotate in and out. And it's it's fun. I really enjoy it. Yeah, we're going to be in the non-competitive league, I believe. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a fuck off. It's going to be a. Uh, a nice little little hit and giggle, nice. and hopefully it's fun. Man, hopefully it's fun. Competitive sand volleyball. That sounds like the worst thing. Ours ever. is so competitive. I'm really? not even kidding. Yes, Tommy yeah, and them they take it so seriously, and oh. like that's There's why I have to be. That's why I have to be the vibe. You know, there's no yeah. non-competitive league for Tommy. There's no like, no, no. No. he's like, he's, mm, he's, are we? Yeah, no, he's so, spiking yeah. it. He's spiking it down the U oh. of the other team's fucking grill. Yeah, he is. It's it's bad. One time he hit a girl in the face and I was like, you have to apologize. She should have been fucking standing there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a game. Just a game, Fokker. Yeah. Sexist. If I apologize to her, honestly. Yeah, you know. it is. She she's deserved it. out here just like the rest of us. Just one of so us. So true, but I would one also apologize if I hit a guy in the face. Mm, that's fair. No. So, okay, I have a few other suggestions for hobbies. Yeah, yeah, please. Um, uh, what if you found different types of hiking trails because you like to jog? <sighs> that's true. You could probably get Brady to go with you, too. Yeah, Do a little weekend. Definitely could. There is a um in the Bloomington pack pack. area. There is a uh, Constitution Trail, which kind of runs throughout the entire city. It's not really very scenic. It's more of like a city like path that you okay. kind of weaves around. Um, but are you talking more of like the traditional, like actual hiking? Some nature yeah. hikes, like nature I've trails. Nothing, nothing not crazy. Necessarily. Forest Just... preserves, if you will. Just, you know, saying, hey, I found this other cool, you know, little place about 20 minutes from here. Let's give her a try today. Saturday morning, grab a coffee, mm. head to the trail. Mm. Yeah, maybe. But that's only good when it's nice out. So true. That's why well, I like it's about teetering. to be nice out. You know, it's Tell coming up. that time. It's coming up. Brody, uh, I have a few for you. Okay. Um. Man, I just have these lists with so many fucking bad ones, but go ahead. Okay, I thought of things that I think that you would be really good at. One. Everything. Pottery. Mm. I think that you could make some great pottery. Perhaps. Even, even if it was bad, it would still be like unique and cool, and I feel like yeah. you could own that. Who does that? Who does the um oh um uh, yeah. Can... yep yep you're Seth, uh, Seth Rogan. Rogan. He makes cigarette he makes uh ashtrays. Yes, he does. Um yeah, I mean I would have to like go to a class to do that. You like can't do pottery. Not necessarily. At your house. Like that's throwing pottery, but you can yeah, what's do the like, spinny thing. That's, that's pottery. Throwing. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm that's, envisioning. That's throwing pottery, but like you can do you can make stuff. Just have without, like clay, like yeah. Like mold it and but don't you have to like put it in an oven to like so that's like the kiln thing but you can yeah. also buy these different clays that can either dry themselves or you can bake them in your own oven at home you should but also you should, um... just taking a pottery class not a bad shout yeah, out there you go there you go i would, I would love do to do that and there's a place in st louis where you can because i took that class in high school where we threw like the pottery and it was so fucking cool there's a place in St. Louis you can take a class. Yeah. I don't know if I would be good at that. I'm bad at stuff with my hands. I have like, well, then, I, I could envision what I wanted it to look like. Like I'm bad with like, like arts and crafts time whenever I was in school. Bad. Cause like I, I fucking can't cut straight. My handwriting hey, is fucking dog shit. You don't Maybe have to master it. You just have to have true. fun doing it. It's true. Also, yeah. if, if, yeah, yeah. I see those videos of like people doing pottery and like they're working on it and it all collapses in on itself. I would get so goddamn fucking angry every time that happened to me. Yeah. Maybe yeah, you would. would. Yeah, I'd you would. So fucking mad. Um, so arts and crafts are out. So that means if you're seeing dinner for schmucks, you could like make and paint your own little figurines, maybe kill yes. some mice. Ever think of that? 
I just have a little village behind me, a whole cityscape. Yeah. Ooh, Wes. I don't know. This may be a good one for you or me. What if we become Lego guys? What if we get really into Legos? That, that, that speaking of expensive hobbies, that shit would add up quick. I, I, you Your know, hobby will not be getting pussy after that, but no, no, no. <laughs> Certified not getting pussy. Yeah, yeah. You I better, don't think I'm a Lego you buy, guy. Either. You better buy a you better buy a bunch of smut books if you're doing Legos. Good so times suck, and I do love a hobby where I can just buy a bunch of shit. Yeah, I love yeah. hobbies. Like, oh, I, I got so, the new one. I'm collecting this one. Da, 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 da. I think I have my. I, I love to golf. I should. I mean, yeah, that's my that's, hobby. That's my but, hobby. But yeah, that's your hobby. But if it's shitty out, I feel like you need a secondary hobby, like something that yeah. you enjoy doing. You need a backup hobby. Golf also expensive. Not that that's. I need like a. But so it couldn't be. I already have my outdoor hobby. I need my indoor hobby. So hiking could be plan b for outdoor but if that's outdoor baking? in the summer i'm probably if you, you become sick ooh, in the kitchen you start baking ooh, making some ooh, ooh, just like or cooking in general not just baking yeah cooking would be good yeah because you'd have to make some be a gluten-free chef start a tiktok mm. as mm. west's gluten-free chocolate chip cooks pretty good what yeah. do you think because i was i actually had cooking written down for Brody because Brody I know you like cooking Here already. He does that. I know that's I what could I level just my game up though. said Shut but up, it's like you could take it the next step where it's like okay have you ever made your own sushi at home and like rolled your own sushi like maybe you need to just try out all different types of things and I saw someone on TikTok, they bought a cookbook and they did every single recipe in the cookbook and like did little TikToks about it. And it was really intriguing to watch because it's like, oh, fuck, I, w- I want this fucking cookbook now. I'm watching you make every fucking recipe. Yeah, I do. That is literally like 70% of my TikTok feed is just people cooking and like recipes and shit. I need to buy better cookbooks. Most of the cookbooks I buy are like, cooking influencers then i get the book and like the recipes kind of fucking suck and it's just Um, like this is my story and it's like i already know all this that's why i bought yeah like i didn't need a storybook yeah most recipes are like kind of shit it's like oh but it looks cute and cutesy and it looks nice set up on your bookshelf but nothing inside of it is very useful at all yeah um man these fucking lists of these ones on like wood burning i don't even know what that means what is wood burning I don't know, but man, if a fire's in front of me, I want to put shit in it. So. I do. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, this is like a, you like burn designs into wood. I don't really understand. Hmm. Add a rustic charm to your life. Home home brewing, Wes? Some bathtub beers? Ooh. What do you think about that? Oh. No. I cheese can't making. They, they, can't eat, this says can't eat cheese. Cheese making on this list. Mm. Who the fuck is making their own cheese? What kind of sick bastard is at home yeah, that's in their fucking house making fucking cheese? Some of these things keep it to the goddamn professionals. Like, yeah, yeah. buy your cheese, folks. Yeah, just buy the cheese. Yeah, and cooking, if you want to think- feel more earthy about it, buy the whole block of cheese and shred it or cube it or buy grate the fucking it yourself. Cow. Well, then you'd have to make the fucking cheese. Buy a farm, Wes. What do you think about that? Be a Let's- be let's a get into fucking, let's get into crops. Let's do some fucking be a man of the land. Yeah. Yeah. Move to let's New Mexico, fucking, become a cowboy. Not let's much do of a hobby. No till fucking no till soybean. Soybeans coming at you. Fucking drill soybeans. Ooh, you could do a compost. I don't know how that would work in a an apartment. That? Compost? It's like where you like compost your food and get all that like really rich soil so then you can like use that and it breaks down the um what are the gases called that are bad for the ozone co2 if i had if i had a home in a yard i could could start a garden my dad has a garden he really enjoys it ah yeah yeah you could do a garden so um brody i'm still not done with the idea that i really want you to make those t-shirts yeah i've been thinking about it i think someone should just be able to send you hey my name's bobby i am obsessed with my dog um 
What else about me? I like dirty martinis and my favorite color is this. And you just make an absurd t-shirt and send it to me and I don't get to see a proof. Bruce's head on some olives in a dirty martini. Boom. Nice. I'm trying like, yeah, the logistics of making one t-shirt and sending it to somebody. I don't even know how that would work unless I bought my own equipment to print them myself. You know what I mean? I don't know though, because... I feel like there's the con, like the people that you can contract online where it's like you can make the design and have someone else print it from like. But I don't think you can do them. one at a time is more my thing though, which. That but I have think to be that's that how like Redbubble or what's it called? Redbubble or something. I'm pretty sure yeah. they just do that per order. You're not like doing those in like mass amounts. You just well, make yeah, the design. I would imagine they're not. Yeah. I mean, you could probably order like 20. I don't think they would take order. Maybe they would. I don't know. I don't know that for a fact. That's the one thing that always cuts me up. It's like, God, I don't want to learn like the logistics of actually yeah. like buying the shirts and selling it. And I imagine if I just sat down for an hour one day, I could just figure it out. And it's not that hard. Probably. I could probably just start a store somewhere. My other thing is I don't want to print them on cheap shitty t-shirts from one of these places yeah. either because yeah. there's nothing worse than like i got this funny shirt and i washed it once and now it is a fucking rag that sits under my kitchen sink yeah. disintegrated in the dryer yeah that is so true but hey but, just marinate in that a little bit no I, I i do think about doing that and i think it would be fun to make some thoughts and friends podcast merch um slash just funny shirts would be very but, fun yes. would be very fun would rock the shit out of anything yeah i if anyone knows anybody that prints t-shirts or knows more about this fucking let me know mm, i might know a guy all right let me I know I'll, I'll look into I'd it I'd like to work with someone, you know, some mom and pop situation. You know, I don't want, I don't want to give my money to some big faceless yeah, to, corporation to, to go print my tea. Yeah. Big, big t-shirt doesn't deserve our money. We want to give back. Yeah. 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 Definitely. For sure. Um, what else is on the list? I got, Wes, I got a good one for you that I've also thought about for myself. And I, okay. it came to oh. me because I was scrolling TikTok and I saw it. Uh, Learning magic tricks. Hmm. Get the get the smut books because it's over. Yeah, I mean, you don't <laughs> have to break it out. You don't have to tell people, but you the can point? also learn some subtle ones. Well, I mean, you don't tell the women you're trying to bed. You tell the fucking bros. You're like, hey, hand me those cards. <laughs> Look at this. Suck my yeah. Dick. I'm gonna fucking, fucking. I'm a fucking ghost. How's that, my lady? My lady, I'm gonna steal your watch. Yeah, like fucking. I'm gonna take your panties off. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes. How many Are times these do you get slapped panties? in? The- <laughs> <laughs> no. Oops. Got the oh. table next to you. <laughs> Whoops. Oh <laughs> god. Yeah. I always think it's it like just knowing like four or five that you could break out would be great. Would be great. Where Basic where ones, in your ones. mind? What is like best case scenario for you and your mind for like the the one or two out. or three magic tricks that you have? Okay, to break I'm out. thinking. Lay it out for me. We go to Tommy's dad's house during the summer. We all had about three beers. Everyone's gathered under the gazebo out there. I'm like, hand me these fucking cards. I'm handing them to everybody. Now I know you said you had a two and you put that on top, and there's no way I could know whatever this card is, and then. I'm doing some shit and it's in this guy's pocket over here and I pull it out and everyone goes fucking crazy. Everyone goes nuts. That, okay. that I mean, sure. That would play. I and think it would be more than more than three beers, by the way. More like five, I five think six. That it's different because Brody is in a relationship. He doesn't have to worry about where his source is coming from. If he does a magic trick around a group of strangers, <laughs> that's okay. Wes, if you do it around a group of strangers, prison. It's game over. Yeah, game over. Yeah. Well, no, you don't do magic tricks around. Str- I'm not saying around strangers. <laughs> I'm saying around people I know and are at least acquaintances. But what if some of my friends are at the party? Well, that wasn't that you've in never the situation. Well, well, I'm adding okay. it. 
Then you, well, you can't okay. do it. You can't do it. It's off. Then you pull the bros to the basement, maybe. <laughs> hey, everyone yeah, come to the garage. And it depends on the trip. I mean, girls, it's just girls, you're not allowed. Stay out. I'm doing it. I'm doing something. You can't come. Yeah. You're doing something down here. Yeah. Um, Don't look. I feel like card tricks are like fine and not like weird. I feel like I whenever you guess. get like crazy <laughs> props, that's when it gets strange. I feel like just doing stuff with a deck of cards is like, it's not like, damn, that dude fucks, but it's like, I don't know. It's like pretty just fun don't get me wrong. party favor. I, I love magic. Like, of course. If I show up to a party and I'm bringing my own props, that's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> You're a fucking okay. loser. Yeah, but if the card. If there's just a deck of like cards table. laying around, I'm just like kind of. Look at this. Give me those They're fucking like, is those cards. Give me those fucking cards. And you start pulling them out of people's asses. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can see subtle, that. Subtle magic on the list. Casual <laughs> sleight of hand magic tricks. <laughs> okay. Not cutting people in half over here. You know what I mean? Not pulling rabbits out of hats. I'm not bringing right. a fucking a goddamn cage of pigeons to the function. You know what I mean? Right. All right. Oh. Uh, I also think something that my dad has gotten into kind of like goes in and out of phases. That's a nice party trick is like someone who's really gotten into like studying cocktails and like, oh, the best cocktails. And I made these simple syrups for this. And I did this, this, and this. Like, that's kind of cool when you're having a party. Yeah. And it's like, oh, do you want to have this like, pomegranate basil martini i just made some simple syrup like i would fucking love that that would be really cool yeah it's fun for me to make drinks it's hard because it's like i don't want to only i like the craft of it and i think it's like cute and fun i'm not like making them because i want to feel that buzz it's just like oh i just truly just enjoy that you know yeah i'm not but that's hard. that's probably not a um I thought about maybe being becoming like a wine guy, but I'm not for that or for what you said, not much of a drinker. I don't like drink alone just for like pleasure, just to like have a drink on the weekends or like after work. Def not me at all. I just don't drink that much. So probably not the hobby for me, but maybe you should learn think how to roll I do think a it's stick cool. one. Yeah. Dude, let's get high as hell. Become a, a weed guy. You won't even realize so, uh, that you want to grow yeah. your own weed. Grow your own weed. That would be tight. That you could make sick. candles. <laughs> you could make candles. That sounds messy. Am oh, I wrong fuck? about that? How do you do that? What do you mean? How do you do that? You just like buy the wax beads. You add the scents to it. You buy the, you know, glass jars. You mix them. What sort of? Them up. <laughs> what sort of scents should I go with? Bergamot. Like. Patchouli. Ooh, I I make really disgusting candles and I sell them as gag gifts as a hobby. Mm. Fart candle, fart yeah. Poop candle. college college <laughs> dorm candle. Melt your uh, shit and harden it, and then just put a wick in it. And sell it. To just people. held this fart for two hours on a date candle. <laughs> oh yeah, this candle's just come. It's yeah. just come. The whole thing. Been saving it up it for up. months. Light yeah. it on fire. I'm backed yeah. because I do magic candle. <laughs> oh, oh, the smell of stinky God. old stale semen. Oh, oh man. that'd Christ. be a fun bit being a magician, but you just like <laughs> put shit in people's pockets and like put cum on their clothes. You'd be like, I got cum on, you didn't even see it. Like, what did you guys do before this? Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, Woo. I. Oh, that's a good one. I I love love a good candle, but right, come come candles. Put it come. on the list. I thought about making soap, like bars of soap, and watching people cut them on TikTok is that so is satisfying. Nice. That's satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, here's one, Wes. There's a little right. barrier to entry, money wise. Although not necessarily, you could just use your phone. Get into photography. How about photography? Ooh. I have a camera. I well, thought about that one. I thought you about go. that one. I don't Everything know. I don't fuck, like, I'm not. I don't know. What about drawing? Do either of you like to oh, draw? Oh, I'm I ass about, at drawing. I'm thought about painting because I am oh. bad at drawing. I'm like bad at like 
I could never like do portraits and shit, but I would I would be into painting and just kind of slapping some colors on, fucking calling it do modern water, art. Little little watercolor. Yeah, set it yeah. up in the backyard, get a nice little easel. That's not a nice yeah. thing. Just that would be so crazy. nice. Sounds pretty fun to me. Hey, I would love for my house to be decorated with one original Brody Benz painting. Hell yeah. All right. I could put it up in my office. You could. I fucking so, put one up in here. Yeah. I've been thinking about putting shit up in my uh in my office in here, up on the walls. I never know what to put up. There. I, I feel like so much shit is so corny and so fucking lame. There's I there and I like, feel like there's three no, months after I put it up, it's like I don't even like that anymore. I feel like I don't I have nothing on my walls ever anywhere. Yeah. I feel like there's no in between college dorm and like 10 year homeowner i feel like a lot of guys overthink it in a way it's like oh you can get something put it up there if you hate it in two months swap something out it's but there's no it's so there's no in between like scarface poster and like my wife did all this yeah yeah there could be what? What is Maybe the Maybe that could decor? be your hobby. Maybe that could be Interior your hobby. Interior decorating. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Yeah. I, 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 as an actual hobby, I love going to thrift stores. I'll probably just start doing that more. Honestly, I enjoy that. Yeah. I'll find some it's, stuff to hang up in here. And also, for fun. me, I was like, I can never fucking take anything serious in my goddamn life. It's like everything. It's like, what if everything was just like a total, complete joke? Total bit. No goddamn silly. What if my entire life was just an ironic fucking bit? It's like, oh, fucking get Dale Earnhardt Jr. shirtless and put it up on my wall. Be like, isn't that funny? And everyone comes through. It's like, that's kind of fucking weird. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because you'd hate to like actually like something and hang it up and like. Yeah, that that would someone's be, like be so. I'd be so weird. Like, it's like, oh fuck, dude, I think it's so God, cool. I fucking God, liked it. that. I Ugh. liked it a lot. Or it's like you just don't fucking get it, you stupid fuck. God, you yeah. tasteless fucking bitch. God, I'll just if, make it all a joke, so none of this hurts. If someone, yeah, I fucking hate it too. It sucks, isn't it? Ironic. I even put it up. What the fuck? If someone doesn't like something, though, they're not gonna comment on it. That's fair. Yeah, probably, you know. But. I also I also trust my taste. Most people are fucking swine, goddamn fucking <laughs> right. animals, mongrels. Yeah, you're a you're a man of fucking divine taste. We all know. Yeah, it. I'm not though, and I, I'm aware of that, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think there now. I don't think the line is necessarily between college and my wife did all of this. I do think that there's a a fine line that if you are a single guy and you have a place, you need to do a little something to your place so that it's not like, oh, does an axe murderer live here? Like, why do I walk in and everything looks so sterile? You know, I think that there's a a balance there because you don't want to do too much where it's like, the fuck's this guy doing? Like the a perfect example, Brody, when you had your apartment in St. Louis, the mm-hmm. studio, that was great you had a little bit of decor felt homey enough you could tell that a guy lived there but if you told me a girl also lived there i wouldn't have been like oh what no way you know what i mean like i Mm -hmm. feel like it was very appropriately decorated yeah i would agree i would agree your office your office you keep a little messy, and Michaela Snapchatted me this weekend that she cleaned it for you. She did. It was very nice for. We still have more to. We have more shit than we have room, and I am gonna be selling some shit on Facebook Marketplace. So hit me up on Facebook Ooh. and I'll buy some shit. And want a record player? Either you guys want a record player? I'm selling my old record player. Are you? No. Yeah. Bought a new one. It sounds oh, real nice. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant like you're you're out on records now. No, nah, just got a new setup. He you know, just upgraded. Sick. How does gear. Facebook Marketplace work? You just meet up and like barter when cash. No, I yeah, just, just put set that shit on my porch. And, you know, usually you set a price, and I think they just pay you through Facebook and like links to your PayPal or whatever. And then uh, typically, and then I just do just, Venmo. Or yeah, whatever. Do There's they, a number of ways to do it. They'll pay you digitally, and usually like, you meet them somewhere. Facebook so, takes a cut. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. Not the way I, I do it. No. I haven't done it in a while. Facebook doesn't take any cut. I don't no, because so. I don't. I don't sell it like through the Facebook. You know, through the post. I'll be like, "Hey, Venmo me or bring cash." I'm not gonna like link it through this Facebook. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. so you take you take it you take it offline. You take it to these streets. Yeah. Or I'll Damn. say, you know, slide that cash under my mat. I got a ring doorbell, so I'll be able to see that you did that. It's great. I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace all the time. I yeah. see you posting a lot of, of like your old clothes. Is that what you sell or what do you sell? Yeah. In like old house stuff. I just sold like all of that wedding decor. Um, all my clothes. Nice. I, just, I just goodwill those. It's hard because I normally donate like everything, but the stuff that I paid for like a hundred, two hundred dollars for, sure. I'm like, man, I can't justify just donating that. I typically, if no one buys it, I end up just throwing it in a bag. Mm-hmm. But it it hurts. It hurts sometimes. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, that is fair. So we all have a new hobby, Wes. You are going to read smutty books. Oh, you're, yeah, I thought you meant, yeah. You're going to hike. What else did we decide for you? He's going to learn piano. Yeah, piano, piano. I'm going to golf. Continue to golf. Yeah, drop your favorite smut books in my comments. or D, Shoot me a DM, your favorite I got erotica, so many. Your favorite erotica. I'll send you some. And, but I don't want to. I feel like they're fairly all very much aimed at women. I can't be reading these books. I'm going to. Start going into menopause. <laughs> well, you'll be okay. A nut is a nut. Am I right? I can't. <laughs> is it? I can't. Gender's a spectrum, my brother. Gender's a spectrum. Yeah. I. Okay. And then, Brody, you're going to maybe think about doing a t shirt if you decide you want to research it. Yeah. Continue I'm going to just. Cooking. I'm just going to start making some goddamn art. Yeah. Maybe I'll just turn all my interests into content. Yeah. Um, I will add another one in. I'm already somewhat in this game. It over COVID, almost everyone got into it. Trading cards. Yeah. Um, Wes loves selling baseball cards. Nice. Trading cards of all kind. Back in the day, in the in the parents' house, found the old Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards. I got baseball. I got football. I'm fucking flush with trading cards. So wow. Hit I'm up. a I, I, I ain't a collection. I ain't a business man. I'm a business man. Wow. The yeah, core so, idea, Wes, you get a nice frame. You put a bunch of your favorite baseball cards in it that have no value. You glue them on a nice canvas. You hang it up. It doesn't look, it looks like you bought it and you can say like, those are my baseball cards. That's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting, you know? Yeah. Here's the other thing that guys do wrong with their thing is they get one thing and they hang it up and that's the only thing they fucking hang up. They forget about it and it looks worse than if it was just a blank wall. It's like it's like a goddamn frame that's this by this. It's like, I don't know, put something up there. Whatever. It's fine. I recently made some art for my own wall because I had a canvas that had like a picture on it and I was just over the picture. So I went, got some spackle threw some random spackle all over it and then painted it on top and it looks so good. I just threw it on a wall in the guest bedroom and I'm like, okay, I enjoy that. You now. recently didn't you use something from your wedding as something in your house? Yeah. I you yeah. About that. Seating chart hung that up as decor piece because I thought that was kind of cool. Always be able to see who is at our wedding. True. I've tried to do a few few different things recently to like upcycle some stuff that I no longer liked in the house to actually enjoy it again. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, I've got some stuff on the walls in here. You can't see it in the frame. I can never, I don't know. I might just throw it all away, but it's not that bad. I don't know. Fucking just my life. see, go on TikTok. See if you know, there's a cool way to switch her up. Yeah, I do. I do get a lot of that too. I get a lot of home decor. I get a lot of uh, bu- 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 um, uh, clothing shit. So, your hobbies, your interests. Yeah. So yeah. maybe the sign of that is that Wes, your new hobby should just be making ASMR videos on TikTok. That would be funny. 
Yeah, I don't think I could. I don't think I can bring myself to do it, but that would be funny. That Promo for this be... podcast. One of us does a little ASMR. I don't know how you have to like. They have you have like, to have a specific they don't have, microphone. They don't have special mics. It's something to do with the settings. I don't know shit about audio, but probably Google it and figure it out. I think that's the end of the podcast. I think we're done yeah. here. I don't think we have anything left. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you like and subscribe and come back next week. This is all for this week's episode of the Thoughts and Friends podcast. You're doing so good, and we're so proud of you. Thanks for listening.